the body shop and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazen Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Hello, friends and neighbors. At Mike Burke's Ford, we're offering the best prices of the year. The Ford Friends and Neighbors year-end sales event. Ford Motor Company has authorized x discounts to everyone from now to January 4th. Low interest rates for qualified buyers, huge discounts, plus special offers from Mike Burke's Ford means all new Fords at the lowest prices of the year. Get over $10,000 off on select new Ford F-150s. Finance with Ford Motor Credit, get another $750 rebate. You want to save even more? Come to the house, good service bill, and we'll give you five free oil changes while in 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on any new Ford we sell. Timmy Roser, Joey Lee, Bart Duncan, Randy Williamson, and Tracy Ross are ready to get you the best prices of the year. Stop the search. Come to Mike Birch Ford, the dealership where friends send friends and neighbors are welcome. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Ford vehicles. This is Sammy Dixon saying thank you. Thank you very much for your business. And good morning. It is a Friday, the 20th day of November. Butch Hubbard here with you on WIFO FM and Jessup 105.5 on your FM dial. Big dog country. Going to be sunny today. Sunny today with a high today near 72 degrees. Tomorrow, partly sunny. 20% chance of showers with a high near 67 tomorrow. And then on Sunday, variable cloudiness. 30% chance of showers with a high near 60. The Autumn Harbor levels at 10.2 feet and rising. 55 degrees here in southeast Georgia. It is now time for the World famous Butch and Bob show brought to you by Jessup Premium Storage out here on the Waycross Highway by Parker Insurance and Realty on Macon Street in downtown Jessup, Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear, and by BNC Collision Center in Scriven. And Bob, we got a very special guest in here with us this morning. Yes, we do. Mr. <laughs> Reverend Van Dempsey's in with us to talk about a special event taking place Sunday night at Calvary Baptist Church, the community Thanksgiving service, which has become a very popular event in Wayne County. A lot of the churches involved, a lot of community choir involved, so I thought we'd get you in there, explain it to everybody, invite everybody out to the big event on Sunday night at 6. Well, I'm glad to be with you and uh, have the opportunity to share about the community Thanksgiving service. This is actually our 17th annual wow. community Thanksgiving service. Uh, we started out with uh, really just three or four churches going together, and we were doing that on the Tuesday night before Thanksgiving, and it has just grown and it's a part of the Wayne County Ministerial Association now. And um, three or four years ago, we went to a Sunday night of having it on Sunday night. And it's just a great opportunity. I'm always running into folks that are talking about the Thanksgiving service because it's become such a, a good event. We bring folks together to make up a choir from the various churches that participate. And we always have a couple of the local pastors to be uh, preaching at that service. And it's just a, a wonderful time to come together and worship the Lord together, be thankful together as uh, the body of Christ, really. And so we really enjoy it. We're honored to host it and just look forward to it. It begins at 6 o'clock uh, this Sunday night. And uh, two preachers that we have this year are... Uh, two men very familiar to the county. They've been around quite a number of years in this county. Uh, Brother Jack Lee from Autumn Baptist will be one of our preachers, and Brother Mickey Tumberland at the House of uh, Worship and Ministries will uh, be the other preacher for the night. And then we'll have the choir, as I said, made up of the talent of various uh, members uh, of the local churches. Uh, under the direction of Bruce Harris, our music director, he'll be leading them. It's always just a, a great night. We look forward to it. Now that is two very well-established uh, ministers you're going to have their preaching on Sunday night. It is. I, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, if uh, going back and looking at the number of years they've pastored in, in mm -hmm. Wayne County, right. I, I think they've got a total of 50-plus years of ministry between the two in I'll the county. Uh, yeah. you, you know, so. How is the Ministerial Association select two guests to speak? Well, uh, we host it. Uh, we host it, and I, I usually, I'm the one that does the the lining up of the pastors to, to preach there. And I, I really look um, each year. A lot of times, I, I will if the pastor is new in the county, 
uh, to try to plug him in. I, I will get some of the newer pastors in the county uh, to preach. Uh, it just depends. And I I spread it out. We, we cross the, the denominational lines, as you can tell, with the two that we have this year. And so we've... Uh, uh, we've had Brother Tucker Lewis uh, has preached at it. Uh, we've had Dale McCoy from First Free Will, Tim Horn from New Hope. So, so uh, we've just had a variety uh, of uh, pastors that have spoken at it. And uh, I, I've even on occasion spoken at it myself through the years. <laughs> even selected yourself. <laughs> well, I can't fill this slot, so I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, scrape the bottom of the barrel when I'm looking for my yeah, step. Everybody else in there climbs, and I guess yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was well attended, so I think we need to get there early, but it uh, runs for, how long does it run? About an hour, an hour and a half? Right? And um, we'll begin at six, and we're usually done uh, in an hour and a half or so, really, yeah. usually. Okay. And this is the community-wide Thanksgiving service. Yes. Everyone's invited Everyone's to Calvary Baptist, 6 p.m. this Sunday, Calvary Baptist on East Cherry Street here in Jessup. Right. Absolutely. Another thing that we do as a part of this, uh, too, is we... Usually we'll receive an offering at this service the last several years, and we will be doing so again this year. We'll be receiving an offering for the Good Samaritan Center well, to, good. to help them out. So the folks that come, they, if they would like to, of course, they can bring canned goods and uh, stuff that would help uh, Good Samaritan Center out in that way. Or if they would just like to come and give uh, through the offering, they're able to do that that night as well and everything we're receiving that offering goes right to the Good Samaritan so okay. well, sounds great like I said just want you to come in and give it a plug uh, again it's Sunday evening 6 p.m. at Calvary again it's a community wide service everyone's invited and you know be Mickey Tomlin and Jack Lee speaking absolutely We'd love to have everybody come and be with us okay. worship with us on that night okay all right, sounds good. Anything else, um, Pastor? Uh, that's about it. That's about it? Yeah, I, right. yeah, I guess I could say Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Y'all got big plans for um, Calvary Baptist for any um, Christmas um, uh, promotions, uh, entertainment, uh, services? And well, of course, uh, going into Christmas uh, on um, the 13th, uh, on that Sunday night, our children will present their Christmas musical. On the 20th, that Sunday morning, we have... Our adult choir will be presenting okay. their Christmas musical. So uh, those are the things we've got coming up for Christmas. Up for Calvary Baptist right. at uh, Christmas. But this Sunday night, 6 o'clock at Calvary Baptist Church in Jessup on East Cherry Street, community-wide Thanksgiving service starts at 6. Uh, there will be a community choir there under the direction of Bruce. Right. And uh, it ought to be a great evening. Yes, looking forward to it. Hoping to have a house full. All right. All right, we'll be back more of the world-famous Butch and Bob show. We've got another guest out there in the green room coming up in 60 seconds. The Wayne County Young Fathers proudly present their annual fall truck bowl at the Jessup J.C. Fairgrounds. Friday and Saturday, November 20th and 21st. Join the Wayne County Young Fathers for lots of family fun and entertainment. Get ready for the truck bowl. Watch the two- and four-wheel drive modified trucks, two- and four-wheel drive pro street trucks, four-wheel drive pro stock trucks, the light pro stock tractors, the two-wheel drive non-blow trucks, and the Four-wheel drive diesel trucks. You don't want to miss this annual fall event. Friday the 20th at 7 p.m. and Saturday the 21st at 6 p.m. <laughs> Adult admission is $12. Children 6 to 12, $6. And children under 6 are free. Concessions will be available and no alcohol beverages allowed. Sanctioned by the Southern Polars Association at the Jessup J.C. Fairground. Highway 84. Across from the Reindeer Pulp Mill in Jessup. Be there. For more information, call Franklin Burch at 579-6647. 814, 14 minutes after uh, 8 o'clock, you're listening to The Big Dog, WIFO, 105.5 FM in Just the World Famous Butch and Bob Show for this uh, Friday morning. And Bob, uh, another guest this morning. Yep, Debbie Pye's back with us to talk about what's going on at the farmer's market. Now, she has said she has several announcements for us, so Debbie, always good to see you. Appreciate you coming in. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Thank you for having me this morning. Yeah, I have just two announcements I need to make about the farmer's market. Um, this weekend is our regular farmer's market, but it's the weekend before Thanksgiving. And I just want to tell everyone, I think we have some products out there that they could use for their Thanksgiving meals. Um, we have Laurie Yoder that makes the um, homemade pound cakes. And um, every week we have the same people coming out there buying those pound cakes. They are wow. delicious. Yes, and I think, um, you know, some people might be interested in getting those pound cakes. And her sister, Sonia, um, she makes layered cakes um, 
chocolate and Italian cream. Do they have like those that. out there also? They do, and they are delicious. And she also does pies. And I think she told me this weekend she's going to have more pies. Um, she does her grandmother's recipe on apple pie, and it is delicious. Oh, I love me some apple pie. Yeah. Get yeah. some vanilla ice cream with Good it. Good prices on them, too. And so I think um, that they have some things out there they can use. And tomorrow, Spouse's Bakery will be back, and they do a lot of pastries and pies okay. and things. Now, mm -hmm. most of the pastries and uh, pies for tomorrow or this afternoon? They'll be they'll be there today. Today? And then, yeah, the Yoders and the Millers will be there today. They'll be there tomorrow also, and then another one comes in tomorrow, and that's Spouse's. Okay, He's and the mom. time for the, um, the uh, farmer's market for today and tomorrow? Um, 1 to 7 today. Nine to one tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, and then we have the uncanny cannery with the canned goods, and then Miss Maxine, she's going to have um, regular produce out there and potatoes and greens and okay. canned goods and things like that. Sounds good. So, All kinds of good food yeah. out there at the Wayne County Farmers Market yeah, on uh, North First Street. What's that? I said, I eat a lot of it, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's very tempting being around all that food on the weekends, so, right? Yeah, it is. And the next thing I want to mention, we're going to be off next weekend. We'll have no farmer's market. And then the weekend after the, December the 4th and 5th, we're going to have a big Christmas bazaar. Okay. And we'll have our regular vendors, our regular food vendors, and then we're going to have handcrafted items out there. So if there's anyone out there that's interested in selling their handcrafted items, I need for them to call me or come by the market this weekend. And the dates on the on that is the December 4th and 5th. 4th and 5th, that Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. and then 9 a.m. until it's basically our same hours. Okay. So that's the two things I want to announce and invite everybody to come out, see us okay. this weekend. And I want everybody to have a happy Thanksgiving. Definitely, definitely. Yes. Bob, any other questions or comments for Debbie this morning about the Wayne County yes. Farmer's Market? I see the Farmer's Market continues to thrive. That's a good thing for Wayne week. County. A lot of people coming by. I get by there and see the cars there. So yeah, yeah, we, we are real, a lot. yeah, we're pleased with our first year. We think we had a really good season, and we'll be excited for next year. we got a lot of new plans going on in the meantime. Um, it's real interesting how it goes around there. Even on Saturdays when we close at 1, people will still come by, and I have had to sell them my things that I bought. <laughs> that you bought, huh? Yeah, my mom's <laughs> went out the door, and every now and then it'll be a cake, and they'll say, I just, just – didn't get out here in time, and I said, well, i got two months left. I'll let you have mine. Or, okay, yeah. Debbie, once again, talk about what's going on today and tomorrow out there at the Wayne County Farmer's Market. Okay, today is our regular Farmer's Market, and it is the weekend before Thanksgiving. So come on out and get some things for your Thanksgiving meal, your pound cakes, layered cakes, um, pies, pies, apple fruits, pies, vegetables, sweet all potatoes. Kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah, just our regular market, and um, y'all just come on out and... Come see us this weekend for your Sounds Thanksgiving. Sounds good. One to seven today, mm -hmm. and then nine, nine to one, to one tomorrow. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right, Debbie. You're welcome on the air anytime to talk about the Wayne County Farmers Market. Yeah, I'll be back in the next week or two to talk about this Christmas bazaar and tell you what the lineup is out there. Sounds good. That. All right, Big Dog Country Radio, 105.5 FM, and just some more of the world-famous Butch and Bob show in a minute. Hi, folks. This is Ralph Hickox, Wayne County Commissioner. I'd like to invite you to come to the historic Trail Hickox Inn this Saturday from 9 to noon for coffee, donuts, conversation, and if you like, tour the inn. The Trial Hickox House is listed on the National Registry of Historic Homes, and my lovely wife Jamie, along with Miss Peggy Hickey, has beautifully decorated for Christmas already. I also have invited the rest of the county commissioners, the city commissioners, as well as some other local and state officials. I'm a firm believer in ours being a government of the people, for the people, and this is an opportunity for you to come hear what we're doing as your representatives, why we did it, and what we're planning on doing. It's also a chance for you to express your views and opinions, good or bad, we're just playing visit with us. This county is all of ours, and the future is important, and I want your input. Again, this is Ralph Hickox inviting you to come have coffee, donut, and conversation this Saturday from 9 to noon at the historic Trail Hickox House at 256 East Cherry in Jessup. God bless, and I hope to see you there. 105.5 FM Jessup, Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO, world famous Butch and Bob show for this Friday. Uh, Bob, uh, sunny, sunny skies today and tomorrow, 72 today, and then uh, 67 tomorrow. Loving these cooler temperatures. Man, good weekend for the big tournament down there on the island. Getting a lot of people here down there. A lot of people from Wayne County worked at the island golf tournament. Do you volunteer your time and work? Yeah. yeah. I know a lot of people that are down there volunteering their services. Get, they do it because they get 
to play on the course. Oh, they get to play on the course, huh? Volunteer your time, you get to play the course, huh? And what's the name of the tournament again? It's changed it to, from McClattery to RSM. RSM? Yeah, I was trying to get y'all from Is that a RSM. new sponsor or something? Accounting or something? firm. It's an accounting okay. firm is what Jonathan says. It's a what? Accounting firm. Oh, accounting says. firm is, um, is sponsoring the golf tournament, and it's a fundraiser, isn't it? Or is it just uh, a regular it's tournament? tournament? It's regular PGA golf tournament. Okay, regular so, PGA right. golf tournament. They're all St. Simons. They're, they're playing, playing both courses this year. They've got more golfers this year than they had in right. years past. They're playing both courses. So. Okay, now is all this on Sea Island? Or are they playing so, on Sea They're playing on Sea Island. They're playing the other courses as well. They're okay. Playing, they're playing both courses. So. All right. But the big... But Martina McBride concert set for Saturday night. Oh, wow. Time. Martina McBride. That'll be fun over there on St. Simons. Yeah, I'm sure she'll put on tomorrow a great show tomorrow night. Yeah, okay. A lot of people have done there for the concert. So but it's just a great event for this area. David Sloan's done a good job promoting that tournament, getting golfers come down there. So many people living on, a lot of those PGA golfers live on the island now. So it's amazing how many people live on that island did on the PGA tour. There's about 10 or 12 of them now live oh, on the wow. island full time. So okay. Davis Love's really done a good job to promote that area, bring people down there. They fall in love with it, decide to live there, and now they're playing in that tournament. So but they've expanded it. They've got like a 100 plus golfers down there in the tournament they're playing golf, two golf courses now. Okay. Oh, if old Adam Wainwright will be beep bopping around there sometime this weekend. I don't know if he's there, he probably is. What's that? I said if he's home, he probably, he probably is. will be. Yeah. All right. So the golf tournament on the Sea Island in St. Simons this weekend. Martina McBride in a concert tomorrow night there on St. Simons. That'll be a lot of fun down there for folks. Uh, it's going to have pretty good looking weather. Uh, sunny today. Uh, sunny. Uh, is it? Uh, When's the tournament? Is it already started? Yeah, it started yesterday. Started yesterday. Yeah, so Thursday through Sunday. And uh, tomorrow's going to be. Um, uh, variable clienness, 40% chance of showers. Sunday's going to be partly sunny. Uh, we're going to have a low Monday night, Bob, of around 35 degrees, around 38 on Sunday night, and then around 35 on Monday night. So getting close to that first freeze of the year, which is usually a one night in November we'll get a freeze. But, I mean, it's really going to have to get on down there because the, after it gets down to 35 on Monday night, it'll start going up to 43 and then to 50, you know, start warming back up. But um, that sounds good. That's a, that's a good um, uh, publicity for St. Simons and Sea Island. I know a lot of folks who are traveling down there will probably come through Jessup and Wayne County and hopefully do a little shopping and spend a little money here in our county. Just a, you'd be amazed how many people from Wayne County are down there working the tournament. Though. I mean, wow. it's just, there's, a, there's uh, a pile of them down there working. Sorry. So they just they taking time off, volunteering their time. Yeah, and they've been doing it for years because, like I said, a lot of golfers go down there and volunteer because, like I said, part of their packages, they give you certain things like hats, jackets, things like that. But the big thing is they give you an opportunity to play the course good. at a very good discount rate. And discount rate. And it's hard to get on those courses so, yeah. throughout the year. So that's what a lot of, a lot of golfers do it. But, You'd be amazed how many people from Wayne County are down there the entire weekend just working the, working the event. Oh, amazing. You going down any to watch uh, it? Uh, I'm watching Georgia, Georgia Southern. Oh, okay. Georgia, Georgia Southern, uh, 7 o'clock. That's not the 7 o'clock. I mean, when you go down in the morning and watch uh, golf and then come back, watch the game. Yeah, it's my first weekend about 11. I got a I know. Weekend. You got a free weekend. No high school games, none of that stuff. Jack's played last night, so you don't have to worry about them uh, going to them this weekend. Got it. It was a late, late, late night last night. Yes, so. it was. Got get back to two fifteen. So, but they won. That was the good news. They did win. So go Jacks two in a row now. Three out of the last four, right? Three of the last four. <laughs> Excitement building playoffs. Layoffs in Jacksonville. That's what they're talking about. <laughs> they are. <laughs> they four and seven. They four and seven. Got to be optimistic. Yes, sir. Uh, it's just nice to see him win, uh, especially on national TV. Yeah, and in all race uniforms. But yeah, what was the uniforms like? Just all gold. 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 Jacks was gold. A lot of gold. Okay. Blue. What was uh, Tennessee? Blue. Blue. Yeah. yeah. So gold and blue. All right. Colorful. Very colorful. Huh? They're doing some of those crazy things on Thursday night games, aren't they, with those uniforms, right? It's just amazing how many fans and stands have the jerseys already. So, oh, I mean, the gold jerseys? Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's definitely a moneymaker for the NFL. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a different new out there. People got to have it. 
fork out that 25, 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks on a jersey or something like that? Try it. More than like 110. 110? Yeah. 25. <laughs> yeah, they're not cheap. Oh, boy. What are they, laced with gold or something? Jeez. A fish will interfere with jersey. It's running about 120 bucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. But there are a lot in the stands. The pools were open, too. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, they're heated during the winter time. Yeah, they're heated during the winter time. That's the reason why you have um, folks in those pools this time of year. Not you wouldn't see them. You wouldn't see them in there. It'd be too cold. But yeah, they heat those pools during the winter time to keep those uh, babies and bikinis and families and kids and all that in, uh, in those pools. The good news, national media was there, so the meal was a lot better than it has been in the past. Oh, good, good. They brought out the chocolate fondue and the marshmallows. So it was a good night in the press box. Bring out the good stuff for the national game, huh? Yeah. Did you run into any sports guys down there that you uh, that you know? Uh, no, just, there was pound in the press box pack. pack. Saw so people get thrown out of the press box for cheering last. The first time I've seen that in 21 years. I've never seen my buddy Dan throw people out, but he threw people out last night. Don't they know you don't cheer <laughs> if you're a uh, reporter? Apparently they didn't, but he, it was not a good scene. Well, the first time I've seen that. In 20, about 21 years ago, without their people actually get thrown out of the press box. But saw it last night. Wow. They just worked several out. So. Amazing. So, like after the first one went out, they all dressed up and say, Yeah, better not be cheering. But, you know, I guess they didn't learn. It's just like uh, news reporters these days. I mean, when we went through journalism school there at University of Georgia, you were supposed to present the facts, you know, who, where, how, what, when, all that kind of good stuff like that, and uh, be neutral and just, you know, present the story. Today, it seems like. Um, News people are uh, opinionated in their newscast. Now, if it's a, an opinionated show like this one, that's uh, different. But I'm talking about just regular newscasts. Um, you know, these, it's amazing how these reporters just take sides and try to promote their side and stuff like that when they should be reporters. Report what's going on. Not be a, the publicity arm for some certain party or organization or anything of that sort. But uh, totally different was when we went through the uh, the Grady School of Journalism back in the in the seventies, Bob. It's twenty four hour cable. <laughs> twenty four hour cable. I just amazing to me. I mean, you got these uh, reporters out there that are basically the publicity arms. All well, I'm going to be a Democrat, so I'm going to promote that side, or I'm a Republican, I'm going to report that side, or you know, I'm for this organization or this pack or whatever the case may be. You know, if you're if you're publicity person is different, but if you're a reporter, report the facts. Don't take sides. But you, you see that just prominent today. We need more Sam Donaldsons today. That's what we need, Bob. We need more Sam Donaldsons. But they're just not out there. All right, anything else going on this weekend, Bob? Just that George, George Southern game. There a lot of people going up there for that game. And I said George fans scared to death. Scared to death, huh? All right, you got the Wayne County Young Farmers Truck and Tractor Pool tonight starting at 7 o'clock out there at the J.C. Fair, uh, Fairgrounds across from Rainier. Starts at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. And so get out there and enjoy the Truck and Tractor Pool sponsored by the Wayne County Young Farmers and uh, money raised for their scholarship programs and other charity events. And it's just a great event out there if you like lots of noise and power and horsepower and, you know, and smoke and tires flapping through the mud. You'll enjoy it. And um, so all that's going on this weekend also. And make sure, you know, Christmas shopping right here in just Scriven and Odom, right here in Wayne County. Do your Christmas shopping here at home first. You, you should probably find what you want right here in Wayne County. Thanksgiving week kicks off. A lot of people be head out of town. So if you are traveling, please drive with care. And George State Patrol says they'll be out in full force of you know, enforcing all the laws. So just slow down, be safe. Have a great holiday. And for the Wayne County school system, I don't know about the other school systems, but for Wayne County school system, uh, no school next week. No school. No school. They got nine days off, five weekdays and two weekends for those nine days. So I know the students are very happy about having nine days off in a row before they go back to school um, and um, on November 30th. And congrats again to Kayla Martin, big man on campus, the MC. Kayla Martin, huh? The MC Hammer. Oh, yeah, he was in here the, a couple of days ago. MC Hammer had the balloon pants and all that, and he did a good job, huh? Did you see that last night? Uh, I was in Jacksonville. Oh, that's right, you were in Jacksonville, Butch. Yeah, but you heard about it. I heard about it. Okay. I appreciate the person who tweeted me that he won, so okay. I just want to pass along. He is the winner. Caleb Martin, big man on campus. 
having a good week. In the game magazines, I've got a feature on Caleb Warren in the magazine as well. So oh, they picked that up at the Friendly Express stores. Uh, again, nice article on him. Also, a nice article on our long snapper in the magazine this week. Okay. Or this month. All right, Bob. Have a great weekend. Go, dogs.